well, hello, and welcome to Proper Opossum Analysis, or How to Safeguard Your Opossum's Sanity. Are you concerned about the mental health of your opossum? Well, you should be. It's not the natural state for wildlife to be in captivity, and unless carefully and properly monitored, this can lead to neurosis, or even psychosis. And nobody wants a psychotic opossum. Today, we'll be testing for the seven major symptoms of opossum depression. Helping us out is a senior opossum, which can be a little tricky because, as with many seniors, what may look like depression can often be simply deep reverie. All right. Symptom number one, loss of appetite. Broccoli is not an accurate indicator. So, instead, give it a grape. Symptom number two, anxiety. Does your opossum jump at little noises? Or big noises? No? Well, good. Symptom number three, loss of a sense of humor. Many people don't know this, but the well-adjusted opossum has a great sense of humor. It's subtle, but it's there. They love a good joke. Now, they may not understand the words, but they get it vibrationally. For example, this opossum walks into a bar with a duck on its head. The bartender looks up and says, what are you doing with that big rat? The opossum says, this isn't a big rat, it's a duck. And the bartender said, wait for it, I was talking to the duck. <laughs> See, you can tell she really liked that. And yours will too, unless it's depressed. Now, much like us, opossums respond to color. They have an emotional response. So, if they are suffering from symptom number four, morbidity, you're going to want to surround them with bright, happy colors. There. Symptom number five. Feelings of guilt and worthlessness. This is bad. So, don't make it worse by lying to your opossum. You think they don't know. They know. For example, you're suiting up for the office, you pack up your briefcase, and on the way out the door you say, I'll be right back. No, you won't. They know that. Or, hmm, no, your tail isn't fat. Oh, please. The opossum is not stupid. She knows when she has a fat tail. Have you ever placed an opossum in front of a mirror? Try it. It's interesting. They're unusually vain little creatures. Symptom six, loss of concentration. Help your opossum to refocus by engaging it in fun, stimulating, interactive activities like this birdie bling on a string, which you can find at any local marsupial supply outlet. And if this doesn't quite do the trick, well, ratchet it up and enter the world of feng shui. Okay, lastly we have symptom number seven, aggression. Most opossums will not bite unless you actually stick your hand in their mouth. And even then it's not certain, as you'll see if you watch proper opossum dental hygiene. But don't be arbitrary about this. Pop quiz! You're walking along. La 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 la. And you spot an opossum walking along the fence at dusk. You A. Contact a professional wildlife rehabilitator and say, I just saw an opossum. Do something! You'd be surprised how often that happens. Or B. Approach the animal, stick your hand in its mouth to see if it will bite. Or C. Say, hey, what's up, posse? And move along. The answer is C. 
because, and here's where the elephant comes in, the vast majority of opossums belong outside. If you see one there, leave it there. But if you come across an ill, injured, or orphaned opossum, that's when you contact a professional wildlife rehabilitator immediately. If, after all this, you're still left with an opossum, well, stretch that animal out, preferably on a couch, and analyze it. Please join us next time for further proper opossum analysis. Until then, bye.